everyone hope you're having a great day or a blessed uh, evening wherever you're at I want to show you something real quick this is a law beach area and this is actually a great place kind of keep it a secret well we shouldn't keep any secrets but uh, this is near uh, it's just a little bit further to the south of uh, Tourmaline Beach and this is a great place in the weekend where you can park in a reasonably close area and come down here and it's kind of like a, one of those hidden gems that the locals know about that you don't have too much of an issue getting here on the weekend and parking, you have to pay for parking and stuff like that. So anyway, just a little tip there if you're in this area in the San Diego, San Diego area. So, I'm going to show you this rock here real quick. Look at this. Isn't that just amazing? I mean, see the eye and the kind of like the, uh, you know, I don't know what that is, but that is just amazing, you know, angel architecture formation. Now, I don't know, like I said, I've done... We talked about this many times. Sometimes it can be uh, matter can be formed in a spiritual sense. And other times it's just in a so it's, it could be real flesh and you know you know mud fossil. We talked about him. You could probably do a DNA test that to see if that was a real creature back in the day, or if this is just a spiritual uh, formation through energy conversion of matter through the spiritual world. And I always call them the angel architects and stuff like that. Okay, so you got this. I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit more again so I can get close. You see the eye, and it's pointing, pointing towards the uh, beach area. Oops, yeah, there you go. And watch me. I fought the law, and uh, law one. So it's called Law Beach. Now, do remember that some things are uh, written in our language, from you know, from our God Creator, and there's communications there. So you, sometimes you got to pay attention to, you know, certain streets and certain naming. Like part of what I told you, part of my awakening process. The street that I saw shooting that awakened me was uh, 13th and Pearl. 13th, bad luck, evil, and Pearl. Uh, white, clean, uh, you know, Pearl. That was uh, shooting. So, you know, that was, we've gone through that one before. Um, that was a shooting that I witnessed in Boulder, Colorado. Okay. Anyway, so this is Law Beach. And just, it's, it's a gorgeous day. I'm going to pan a little bit slow so you can, you know, just take a good view. And it's, it's so awesome to be a bird's eye view of things, isn't it? And I was talking to a sister last night in the Jewish parking lot about why God doesn't allow us just to fly and be like angels and have all that power. And I don't even go that. I did other videos about that. Um, that you know, it's 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 a stepping process. Man walks and ladies walk. You know, from a child to these things and. You wouldn't want to have just be able to fly and because it doesn't allow you that appreciation later on. I'm hoping someday we do get to fly. Probably will. <laughs> I've always, you know that song, I Wish I Were an Angel? Um, I don't know if you've heard that song. I hope I can put a link in it because I always told the Father and the Lord and the angels and this. I said, boy, I wish I was an angel. I'd like to do angel work here and I listen to that song all the time. I just got done listening to it. It just really opens up my heart and my soul and, you know, just wish I were an angel. But isn't that just, just amazing? I'm going to go up and get a closer look when I can of that. I'm going to zoom in a little closer here. But see, you can see the eye. and the, So anyway, that's an unusual, unusual formation there. And I'm looking around here, and I don't see much else. I'm sorry if I'm panning kind of wacky. But I don't want to make this one too long. Um, now, that's one of the things I'm going to do today is I'm going to, you know, I, I'm trying to get set up where I can go to YMC or something to do my easier to... Uh, showering also for for uh, laundry and stuff like that and that just the situation so what i'm actually going to do is i'm just going to wash my jeans uh here it sounds crazy in the ocean and then you wash the salt water off using those shower heads right there okay and a lot of people who uh, are in our situation are homeless we actually use these showers to bathe and stuff like that and so i'll do that you know you, you know and the ocean's best because like i said i have jean pants i have to use i have to wear jeans for work I'm doing warehousing or construction. So I'll, I'll probably, you know, you pre soap them a little bit with like, get some really clothes and sudsing that won't damage the ocean and things like that or the fish. And you know, and then you use that, you know, I've got harsh detergent for that. And I'll take those jeans and I'll I'll wash them in that in the water there. And I'll wash the salt water off later in the fresh water. And they come out really clean by the way. Okay. And so, you know, sometimes if you're in a pinch, you can do laundry. And somebody said they liked, liked those videos they used to do out of Phoenix, Arizona, about how to, you know, survive uh, in situations. And there's one I'd like to do that a guy just showed me this morning about using a spray bottle and 
uh, you know, they use for for a pesticide. I use that for uh, using it as a shower on hand. So that's what he does here in San Diego. He's got this probably bought at Home Depot. I'll see if at Home Depot. Hopefully I can get a photo of his, a video of that. And he has it where you just pump it up and it provides a great shower. So he has a, you know, a pesticide bottle that's for pressure. It has a hose connected. They just took the, the top off of it, you know, where you have the long wand placed with the shower head. It was amazing. It works great. He showed me in a parking lot near gas station. I said, wow, my friend. Yeah, it was awesome. So he said, yeah, he uses that instead. So, but there's a lot of different ways of, of doing that. Um, so anyway, not going about that. So hopefully, I'm, I do plan on doing a trip back into the uh, the wilderness area to do more, get with nature, get with God, get the other world, and uh, get some more, uh, soup, uh, more natural stuff, uh, more spiritual nature stuff. I plan on doing that a couple of weeks. I'm just trying to time it out just right here in San Diego. Because, uh, you know, with with work and, and uh, planning and all these other things. So I'm hoping to do that soon. Because, you know, i got to have that balance. i got to have that balance. It's just, you know, I love these people, but getting away from it. You know, getting in tune with one with God and the spiritual world and stuff like that. Because they show me amazing things when I'm in these. When I'm out away from the people and stuff like that. Okay? All right. Love you all and hoping you're having a blessed day. And, uh, and uh, hang in there because... Uh, Remember, I tell people, uh, enjoy the moments, don't fear, and just enjoy the ride. Because we do have a mission to do, but we can do it with uh, love and joy and just love in our hearts. And don't, don't feed that evil, don't feed that negativity of those things going on the road like Afghanistan and stuff like that and all those other issues. Uh, they got, they just, it's, it's, it's a mutual absurd distraction. So enjoy it, don't get too much attention because they take that energy and feed off of it. Okay? Alright, love you all. God bless.